Darren, you just took a look at Tyron. <laughs> what do you think? I think that's my buzz over there. Yeah? Yeah, just still two more days to go, so, you know, as you say, me, uh, me fight, me, me man's not really on the fight, me, me man's on, you know, did today, me man will be on tomorrow, and then fight day, me, me man will be on fighting, so, you know, get a look at him, but I'm not going to run over there and fucking punch him in the face, am I? You know what I mean? It doesn't work like that, so, you know, we have to respect each other until the fight, we have to, you know, obviously, stay far apart. And uh, it is what it is, mate. Two more days, and I get to do what I love. What does the next 24 hours look like for you? I know it's not going to be fun, but what does it look like? It, it, it just, I just on Thursday is, you know, I like to get in that mental state where I know how much weight I've got to cut, I know how many hours I'm going to have to do, and it just depends on me. Then, you know, it's it's all right saying it and playing it over in your head. But, you know, when it comes to doing it, it is a little bit hard and it's a little bit different. So, you know, this this you know this next 24 hours, I just want to smash it. As I say, just smash it, and then from there, it's all it's all plain sail, it's all good food, it's all you know happy faces, and and and, and then fights happy. So, one more day, I can do it. Can uh, thinking back to Liverpool, what's the difference between the way you feel now? Uh, I guess compared to the way you did before then? Yeah, I've just got more energy today. I remember on media day I said to uh, Vicky on that I was just zapped in my energy. I just wasn't in a, like no excuse, I just wasn't feeling good that day. Uh, I feel okay now, I feel okay. I feel skinny, I feel lean. So I feel okay, so we'll see. I don't want to get ahead of myself, I don't want to say to everyone, you know, ah, oh, this, that, the other. So I just want to stay calm, stay composed. Try and keep a smile on my face and, and, and as I say, smash this 24 hours. Are you, are you still eating? Like, what, what's the diet difference between? It will today. I'll have my last meal, so I'll finish up here and then I'll probably go and eat. So I'll have, you know, last night I didn't expect, but you know, I'd finished my training. Chef comes in with food for me, so I was like very happy with that, you know. So I'm still eating. I'm still eating, so which is good. I, usually, overnight I go to bed, you know, hungry. I don't eat, I'll have a shake or whatever, but you know, we come in, some food, some water, so I was, I was very happy. How's everything in the camp as well? I know you guys have been together for what, like the last three weeks living in each other's pockets. Uh, are we still all friends? Oh, we're always friends. Everyone's getting on my nerves. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just being, you know, moody. I, I, I'm, I'm, so, I'm a free spirit, so I like my own space a lot. Like, I'm a very in myself guy, you know, I like to be alone a lot. Uh, you know, everyone, everyone who knows me knows that. But it's 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 what we've needed to do to, 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 to come here. You know, we've all needed to stay together, help each other, grow as a family, as a team. Team Carbon Las Vegas, you know, maybe one day it might open for real, but for the past three weeks at UFC Institute it's been Team Carbon Las Vegas. You know, I know one of the most special guys in the camp, they're all special, but Terry Etum, I'm sure he's giving you perhaps a lot of guidance on the way he inspires you. Talk to me about him. Terry's the most special person. Terry's, you know, he calls me a friend, and yet he is a friend. You know, we could go out for a beer together and whatever. But it's a bit much. It's a bit more than that for me. It's I, I look at him as that bigger guy. You know, he just when I was coming up and I was I was a kid, he was just phenomenal. Like he, he, honest to God, like and everyone who knows him and seen him fight is. I mean, he still has fans now, and you know he hasn't fought for years, so. Terry thinks he's my friend, which he is, but he's much more to me than just a friend. He's, you know, he doesn't coach me a lot. He, you know, he doesn't come in and coach me. He gives me little words of advice here and there, but anything he says, I just listen and, and, and take on board. Because he's still in the gym. He's not even training. He just, you know, he beats me up. He's, in, he's an incredible human being. You've talked a long time about getting to this point, getting to the world title fight. Is it kind of like looking back on the way everything's played out? Is it everything you imagined it was, like the media, the, the fans, the, the the way you have to sell the fight? Like, has it been what you thought it would be? No, it, it's never how you think it's going to be. I think you just have to roll with it. I think whatever happens, you just have to roll with it. So, to be totally honest with you, after that fight with you know with Stephen Thompson, I, I wasn't in a good place. I, I was really upset at myself for missing weight. I felt like I didn't deserve. Uh, the title shot. I felt I, I just didn't feel feel good about myself. You know, you can ask my girlfriend. That, you know, I couldn't sleep at night. She, and she was saying to me, "Listen, you made a mistake." But me myself, you know, 
I'm a perfectionist and I couldn't let it go. And then to make matters worse, you know, just, you know, everyone giving me shit, everyone, you know, way cut this, way cut that, way cut this, way cut that, you know, fucking, many other people have, have missed weight in the past, all the attention was just on me, which was fine, but, you know, I, I just said to myself, got to right this wrong, I don't want to, you know what I mean? I, Liverpool was great, fighting Stephen Thompson was great, beating him was great, just that little thing in, 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 in you know, like in the back of my mind, like I didn't make weight. Forget the fight, yet the fight was close, but I won that fight. I'm not bothered what anyone says. His dad can go on for years, and his dad will go on for years. That's all he just seems to do lately. So bitter. I won the fight, but I didn't make weight. That just, it was a little thorn inside of me that I couldn't take out, and, and it was a mistake. Do you get to relieve that pressure on Saturday night? No, tomorrow, I, I want to just step on the scales, and I've, <laughs> I've done with it. I just, I want to step on it. 170, no higher, possibly lower if I can, and, and, and just step on them scales and just take a take a nice deep breath and say, ah, oh, I've done it. You're going to have that, if you can, you're going to have that glass of Coke. Yeah, tonight. definitely. It's, it's been a tradition of mine since I was 18. Every time I made welterweight, uh, if I was ever fighting at 170, uh, and it wasn't, you know, obviously for first time for the title fight, always weighing at like 170 and after a glass of coke to go to 171 and then sometimes you know I'd, I'd weigh in at 169.7, 169.6 so I could have a little tiny just a bit of coke just for my mental state and I've always done it last fight I couldn't do it so I'm looking forward to hopefully doing it this fight Just lastly Saturday when it ends like when you lift that title is that a dream come true for you? What, what does it actually mean? It just means 15 years like I was 10, I was like a 10, 11 and I, and I was a kid, I didn't know nothing. I still don't know nothing. But I just knew one thing, I wanted to fight and I wanted to be the best. When you're the welterweight champion, you are the best. That man over there is the best fighter in the world right now. Regardless of what I sit here and chat shit about, what anyone else says, he is the champion. So, when you're the champion, you are the best fighter in the world, you're number one. You're above number one, number one's there, you're, you're higher, so, all in 15 years, forget Liverpool, forget everything, will have been worth it to, to beat that man across from me. Great stuff, Dan. Best of luck on Saturday night. See you there. Dan, when you are. Uh...